maybe talk a little bit about kind of your you know, painting pictures approach. And I've got actually some, uh, some examples here that you shared with us. So as a founder of a startup, I've realized that the most important thing that a designer founder can do at a startup is to communicate the vision for the thing that you're trying to create. And I've realized that uh, unlike when I was in the consulting world, uh, with a startup, if I can take the time to picture something and communicate an idea, my team can actually make that thing real. But if I don't take the time to like really communicate what that ideal solution would be, you know, that it won't. Chances are it won't happen. And I've realized that um, you know, thinking about what the ideal solution is, these fantasy use cases, um, is really the most important thing. Um, I, one of my favorite quotes is from David Shen, who's an angel investor, and he says, um, you know, don't focus on the thing you can build today. Tell me what the tell me about the problem, and then tell me the ideal solution for that problem. The thing that you know, regardless of technological constraints, what would the ideal solution be? Um, and with food spotting, you know, we envisioned the day when food spotting could be like a picture menu for any restaurant. That you could turn it on, and every food would be there. You'd be able to see what your friends have tried there in the past. You'd be able to have this, you know, immediate picture menu anywhere. And obviously, you know, being user generated, content based, that's what that wasn't what food spotting was when we started raising money and we started talking to people. But that was our vision, was to be a picture menu for any restaurant, and you know, we're, we're still coming closer to that goal. Um, and then about the poster, um, this was the very first thing that I did after I had the idea for food spotting. Uh, before I started wireframing anything, before I started prototyping anything, I made this one page poster that summarized all the ideas that I had for food spotting in 11 by 17. Um, and I sketched kind of the ideal solutions to these problems that I was describing here. Things like, uh, I actually had an idea for a radar-like thing that I where you could put your phone in your pocket and have ice cream detector on, and it would buzz in your pocket whenever you pass ice cream so that you could jump off and get it or something like that. So that whatever you're looking for, your phone can tell you without you even looking at it. Um, and uh, you know other things like food spotting will be like a, a food passport. And none of these were interfaces. They were all just kind of concepts for what it could be like. Yep. And so I thought, Mike, actually, your, your approach was kind of quite